A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. Is a book club some form of weapon? Do you strike with the spine? You hear that? That's the sound of Agatha rolling in her grave. Book clubs are simple. You read books and talk about them. Sometimes there's punch. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. I know about as much as you. Blade put this together. He's the person to ask. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Okay, this is just uncomfortable. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones, that's the plan at least. Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no, there isn't one for today. You are being evasive and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. Huh. I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I wanted to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book. It was Hulk's. Oh, no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. All right, I made my decision. So what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for Book Club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. How old is this book? 5th century BCE. Ancient and still relevant. 
Can you give me a quick summary? It's about war. Come on, Hunter. Cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I do not know. How would you say it stacks up? Stop. Right now, or so help me, I will ban you from book club. Anyway, our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. What you doing, Charlie? What did you think of the meeting? Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think about Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I admit, I like the low-pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Say the word, and I will drop out. No, it's fine. I'm kind of digging this. And I'm glad to have a midnight sun here. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. so late reading. The twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus? This journal is like a love letter to Aleister Crowley, the Necronomicon, Jack the Ripper, and Charles Manson, all remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry. I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it, see if it helps us find our way back into the sanctum. You are exhausted, Carol. Get some rest. You can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know, real horror. Listen to this crap. Lilith, your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms, choke on the dark tendrils of your hair, 
Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. Faustus makes a tribute to his goddess. That is all. If someone who worked for me wrote a tribute like this, I'd be getting HR involved. HR? Uh, never mind. It's a 21st century joke. Well, I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. <sighs> I'll let you know what I find out. Worst part about that Hydra job? Manhattan traffic. You ever get in a horse chase? What is a horse chase? Like a car chase, but with horses. <gasps> Did you ever drift a horse? Maybe on a frozen lake or something? I had a horse with four trick knees. If I whistled a certain way, she would stop on a shilling and then run backwards. Oh, no way! What's a shilling? Does not matter. One time I caught a bug in my mouth mid-whistle. She stopped, gave me a sour look, and started running sideways. Oh, wow. Could she run sideways the other way? No, she was a three-speed. <laughs> I needed that. I know. I'd pay to see a sideways horse chase. Oh? How many shillings? <laughs> All of them. Wish we could do this all day. Magic. Are you all right? No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel... Have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes, but I do not want to say it out loud. You need to tell me what is going on in Limbo, Ileana. And you need to tell me now. The authority in your voice. It's a sign you are stepping into your power. I respect that. But while my power is still greater than yours, I will not speak his name. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? If I am right, you will see soon enough. But tonight, that's all I can say. They say the Pacific Ocean has no memory, Hunter. But you are looking at the Atlantic. Really? Well, that explains so much. Just think. A few years ago, I was just your quintessential 98-pound high school freshman weakling. Even the lunch ladies used to shake me down for milk money. Now look at me. Hanging with the legendary Hunter and the Midnight Suns in their super-secret Atlantic Ocean base. We are happy to have you. That's just it. 
What if that radioactive spider had decided to chomp down on someone else's behind? What would old non-arachnid me be? A brave warrior and a cunning ally either way. Not what the kids on the playground used to say. I was the equipment manager for TAG. Peter, I am friends with you, not your powers. Now that's an F-word I never get tired of hearing. Unless it comes from MJ when you think you're on a date. You know, Hunter, I've been to a lot of truly amazing places since I put on the old spider tights. Way beyond my little neighborhood in Queens. But when all is said and done, there is nowhere I'd rather be right now than here with the rest of you. told me about the Aztec skull constellations. There are more than I thought. Good morning, Hunter. Got a minute to chat? You wanted to speak, Captain America? Please, call me Steve or Cap. I know I'm a newer kid on the block, but I'm noticing some major divisions within this team. All the interpersonal drama is pulling focus from the real danger, Lilith. I have witnessed the divisions, and I must do a better job of resolving the conflicts at hand. Hardest lessons hit the closest to our hearts. Leading others is never straightforward or easy. It's definitely not all on your shoulders, but I respect you for taking accountability. Don't forget that you're the only one of us who's beaten Lilith and paid the ultimate price for it. You stand out here as a leader. The Midnight Suns, Strange, Carol, Tony, even me. We all look to you for our cues. It's a responsibility, and it's a tough one. I have been a weapon all my life, to be wielded and directed by others. Leadership ability is not my forte. I would appreciate a few pointers. Just the fact that you're willing to learn means you're on the right track. I would benefit from your honest appraisal. Take it step by step and build some bridges between teammates. We're all tired, but some team building might be what we need. Even if it's just blowing off a little steam. Times like this, it's easy to forget we're all on the same side. You've already made the ultimate sacrifice once before. I've been there. I know what it's like to be asked to do it again and again. It doesn't get easier. But you get stronger and better at making the hard calls. I've given you a lot to process, but let's pick up this conversation again soon. What in the... This crap just ke Hey, Hunter. his ramblings.
successful collaboration. Coil. Let's get to work. What can I say except you're welcome? What can we work on for you, Hunter? I'm happy to help, Hunter. Now we can really get down to work. Lucky day. Hey, can I ask a favor? Oh, thanks, Hunter. on the journal. If by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes, demonic incantations, and what Strange here thinks is some sort of, wait for it, Lilith fanfiction Faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language. Ancient Atlantean. Then sure, tons. I actually speak a little Atlantean. Tio mile of episith? <laughs> <laughs> but I did find this. A hole? We think it's a shipping facility. Or smuggling. Faustus may have been a demented loon, but the man kept some pretty detailed records. Possibly for stealing. From me. Via the hole. Let me guess. That's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs... I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you are a vampire? You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. I would like a mission on a tropical beach. Checking out a big dark hole in the ground does not excite you? Been there. 
combing through Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world, but Captain Marvel did manage to find a spot of particular interest to the late Doctor. Judging by the Hydra activity we've picked up in the area, I'd say she's on to something. Carol never fails to impress. be a way to smuggle ourselves inside. Let me guess. Stealth not your style? I'm a vampire, remember? We invented stealth. Tell that to them. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. That does not sound like much of a challenge. If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem. Come get it. Now that was something. thermal scan. This hole branches from here across the entire city. What the hell was Faustus doing down here? You would have to ask Crossbones. You had your chance to escape. It's weak, even for Hydra. Lost one of the artifacts. Don't let them get away so easily. We will never forsake her. I'm 
many times you gonna try that? Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. It's one thing to steal artifacts, but this entire setup feels like distribution center. Distribution to where? Then I'm betting it somehow involves Banner. About time. Give the mother my regards in hell. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time is clearly past. Hydra's operations in this city are staggering, especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. Just the beginning. Secure the area and head to the source. The gigantic glowing hole Hydra drilled under our noses. was killed so that we would never find this place. Crossbones was looking for any excuse to put that guy down. We just came along at the right time. Either way, whatever's down that hole is clearly worth killing to protect. I suggest we get down there while we can.
Let us see if they have an answer for this. this rate. You are lucky to still be breathing. Leave some for the rest of us. Time to breathe. Is that the best you've got? That's the last of them. Well done. Where do you think it goes? Down. Better not be a fire dragoon lair. Hydra's been busy. Whatever the hell they're doing down here. It smells wicked. Remind you of something? The Sanctum. Back door? Gonna say yes. We serve our mother. We await the return of the midnight sun. We hate interlopers. And their little brains. I would have preferred the fire dragoon. trouble. Let's take them down. Fairly certain we found out how Hydra is getting the artifacts out of the Sanctum. I'm also fairly certain that I hate this guy. Let's see if we can't shut him up. Come closer, little vampire. Feed our eternal hunger with your eternal blood. We shall feast upon your flesh forever. I can honestly say I've never heard that one before. Make things interesting. It's over for you. I'm still in my prime.
That door of his may be our best bet at getting through to the Sanctum, and finally taking the fight to Lilith. Smells like fresh meat. So much better than sewer meat. Sweet, sweet, surface meat. Yeah, I'm sure he'll let us do <laughs> We will heal faster than you. match for us. Your meal than us, monster. Yes, but I'm Mother's blood makes them sour. the flavor. Too much gamma for our liking. Well, that put me off. Hydra's reinforcements, even down here in the sea. Deal with them if they are in the way. But Venom is the priority. Yes. Food should not play with other Especially when we are hungry. You've made a mistake. Time! <laughs> 
Hang on, Dracula. This one's gonna hurt! Hurt that monstrosity!
I thought Venom's breath was bad. It is. Oh, you know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded. The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. It felt like more than that. As if... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. <laughs> That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you were not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost, we're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's Sanctum Shield, and our exalted Chosen One just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Where is Blade? We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? There is only one way to find out for sure. And to do that, we need to get inside. That's not going to happen until we get a sample from Venom. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. All I'm saying is that it's never a good thing when the prophesied savior of your blow... I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Do not waste your energy worrying about me, Doctor. I am fine. Oh, but it's my job to worry, quite literally. Worrying is written into my contract with the Avengers, and I don't want to be in breach of that. Tony is a stickler for the fine print. But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't in good conscience send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. <sighs> My collar. I'm afraid the explosion cracked it. Cracked? How big is this crack? Minor. Almost undetectable. Hmm, a small fissure should not be a problem. Your collar is made of tough stuff. 
almost as tough as you. But if you see it expanding even a millimeter, you must, and I mean must, come to me immediately. Absolutely. You have my word, Doctor. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. I couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. Right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this...